Good morning students, how are you? I am Francis sir and today we will be studying the last part of the physics uh, lecture for standard 7. In the previous lecture, we did see about the various effects of electric current. Uh, some of them were heating effect, magnetic effect and chemical effect. So of these three we are going to deal with the first and the second one that is the heating effect and as well as the magnetic effect and the third one the chemical effect is a syllabus for standard 8 so we will not be discussing that one but uh, not wasting time let us start the topic and that is applications of the effects of current okay the first one is heating effect as we know that uh, we use various types of uh, electrical appliances such as uh, uh, room heater, water heater, geyser. Yes, it is a cold time, you know, winter has come almost. So, you might be using all these things. Okay. So, what are these things? These are certain devices, you know, by which we can use the uh, heating effect of electric current. You know, when current flows, it produces a certain amount of heat, and that heat we use in our electric appliances in a defined way okay then we have uh, some other also devices like we have an electric filament bulb this is also a different type of uh, electrical device you know it produces both heat as well as light it gets heated up so much uh, that it can produce light also so we can we are using the heating effect of electric current to produce light now the third one is your electric fuse. You know you might have used about uh, you might have used fuse in your uh, in your household circuit. You know fuse is a protecting device. Fuse is a protecting device. You know which prevents short circuiting in our uh, household circuit or official circuit. Wherever the circuit is there, it prevents from short circuiting. How? Because you know when there is a huge rush of electric current, then there is an excessive heating, and because of heating you know that uh, wire in the fuse there is a wire in the fuse if you might have seen that you know uh, in your house you go and see that if uh, you got a fuse it is somewhere shaped like this yes and there is a wire drawn between them between these two there is a wire this wire, you know, when excessive heating short circuit happens, you know, a large amount of electric current flows because of that large amount of heat is produced and because of that heating, you know, this uh, wire breaks and since this wire breaks, what happens is that circuit is broken, it becomes an open circuit and since it becomes an open circuit or incomplete circuit, the current stops flowing, preventing fire in the whole of the electrical circuit, okay? Now, we have the third application, the second application that is magnetic effect of electric current. So, in magnetic effect, what happens is that uh, when current flows, you know, it has a tendency to produce some magnetism, magnetic field around itself. You know, it produces some magnetic effect. So, by the, having this, having seen this property, you know, we uh, have developed a certain device, you know, which is called electromagnet, a magnet uh, which can be used when electricity is produced through it. So, such type of magnet which is uh, made by passing electricity through an object it is called electromagnet. So, our electromagnet, you know, it has lots and lots of devices. You know, it is used for lifting heavy loads. Uh, you know uh, the power of electric uh, the power of electromagnet can be controlled by us as we desire it can be increased to a very high level and can be also be reduced to a very low level but the magnets that we get you know from uh, mixing things that are things mixing some type of metals you studied that you know if we mix uh, nickel iron oxide and all you know we can make uh, magnets and this magnets you know they don't have so much power their power cannot be varied so much it neither can be increased to a very high limit neither can be reduced to a very low limit so it gives a very good application this electromagnet because its power is variable power can be variated 
So the first one is you know for lifting heavy objects because it is very high powerful magnet. Yes, mainly scientific equipments use electromagnets. Yes, there are so many scientific equipments. You know, for example, you have that CT scan machine. You might have heard, no? Uh, they take uh, uh, image of the head. You know, it's an X-ray type of head. And you have uh, uh, that uh, MRI machine. You know, MRI machine is such type of machine in India. You know, we can get the X-ray of the whole body at the same time. You know, the whole body is put inside the machine. And there are so many devices. There are so many electrical devices. But these two are the major devices that you uh, know. There are some uh, other devices also like uh, television, mobile phones, uh, speaker, radio. All these have spear. These electromagnets are there in order to use. Okay. The, uh, after that we have for separating magnetic material and non-magnetic material. There are times you know when we have uh, different type of materials mixed together and one of, uh, some of them might be magnetic and some of them might be non-magnetic. If we want to separate them in that order you know this electromagnet is very useful. Okay. So that is the uh, some of the applications of electromagnet and to understand uh, how does it work you know we have a very simple uh, machine which works on uh, electromagnet and that is our electric bell so here are some of the components okay here are some of the components here of this electric bell the first one is electromagnet armature uh, strip spring contact screw hammer gong and switch these are some of the components of the electric bell and you see this is the circuit diagram this is the circuit you know we have laid down okay so here we have the power source power source you know we added the switch and i have given it the number you know this name i have put here so this is a number is switch and this current moves on from here 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 and goes into what the electromagnet so this device you know this is your electromagnet how do we make electromagnet you come you wind an insulated wire over a uh, iron iron uh, material so if you do that no and you pass electricity through the wire that uh, iron rod or material you know it behaves like a magnet so the same thing is done you know this is a uh, iron material and what is that uh, insulated wire is you know uh, wind all over it so this u shaped iron you know it behaves like a magnet it behaves like a magnet so the wire is wound here and then it moves to this c number what is c number c number is our armature this is a soft iron armature armature means it is a, a device you know on which the magnetic effect is going to act so this thing is a soft iron armature okay and this is connected to this and so when this is connected to uh, uh, this uh, wire you know this wire is moves on towards this you see the wire is moving on to this portion this is d and what is d d is strip, strip spring so a strip spring is a uh, device you know which is uh, connecting the negative part you see the negative terminal is connected to this screw here e number is here screw and this strip spring spring is there which connects the armature and the screw armature and the screw this is what is happening so when the current passes this becomes an electromagnet then what happens is that this gets attracted this armature gets attracted towards attracted towards the magnet and when it does so what happens this strip spring is also comes to this position you know it moves a bit of ahead this whole thing is moved ahead okay when it moves ahead this here we have hammer you know this hammer and we have gong here this hammer also moves here and strikes the gong moves ahead and strikes the gong because this armature has been attracted towards the electromagnet so this is what happens so here the hammer had struck the gong once and at the same time you see that this is the new position of the strip spring and it is now disconnected with the screw making the circuit incomplete making the circuit incomplete so what happened is that it again moves back to its since it uh, circuit circuit becomes incomplete so no current is flowing through this uh, uh, this magnet since no current is flowing no current means no magnetism 
no current means no magnetism it loses its magnetic property the armature is pulled back by the strip spring the armature is pulled back by the strip spring and since it is pulled back by the strip spring it, it comes again back in contact with the screw again the circuit is completed and again the same thing is repeated the armature moves towards the electromagnet the hammer strikes the drum here the circuit is disconnected again magnetic property is lost it moves back to uh, to the uh, this uh, strip string moves back armature also moves back and gets connected to the screw again the circuit is complete whenever the circuit is complete the armature gets attracted hits the gong circuit is incomplete what happens the gong moves back, the armature moves back, circuit is complete. So this process is repeated again and again, no. making a very uh, 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 noise, you know, electrical, you know, what type of noise? Trrr, you know, there is no continuous, there is no continuous noise, you know. There is, you know, one by one, one by one, it strikes again, 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 again. That is why it uh, sounds so much irregular. Okay, so this was the working and the function of electric bulb and I hope you understood how an electric magnet, electromagnet can be applied according to our uh, use or requirement, okay. So with this we end this chapter, okay, and I would surely want you to please go through the exercises and complete all the exercises, yes, whether it may be the exercise of the question answers, whether it may be the quick assignment, whether it is the chapter based assessment paper. All these things are to be done. So, see you in the next video. Good day.